name is Vera. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm in Kwara State of Nigeria and I came to visit the Ashoke Weaving Center, the Alaro compound. Am I right? Yes, the Ashoke Weaving Center, Alaro compound. Now I know you've seen Ashoke, you might have used it, you might have worn it before, you might have used it for your gele. But you don't know how it is produced. So today I'm going to show you how it is produced. And probably get to weave uh, if I can. Yeah, I'm going to try it out. And then you're going to also learn everything you need to know about Ashoki, the different types and everything beautiful about it. So don't go anywhere. Sit down tight, continue watching this video, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed already, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment. If this is the first time subscribing, let me know in the comments, please. So let's go with Ashoke together. <laughs> the managing director of Alaru Baba Shoke Weaving Enterprises here in Ilari. We are around Adangba area, Ujiaku Street, Ilari, Kuala State. Ashoke or Ashofi. It's either you call it Ashoke or Ashofi. Both description and definition is okay for us. The reason why they call it Ashoke is that people that used to buy our products from Lagos, Oya and other far states, they believe this product is coming from Iluoke, a distant state to their own state. So that's the reason why they call it Asho Oke. Some people are call it Asho Oke. Yes, if you call it Asho Oke, you are right. Asho Oke, you are also right. The machine that we are using to weave is what we call Ofi. The wooden machine is called Ofi. So you can call it Asho Oke or Asho Oke. One of the two is okay by us. We have different types of Asho Oke or Asho Oke. Other than the old version, we have E2, Sonyo, Alari, Akpa or Madioka. This one is called Sonyo. And it is normally used in a lorry for Mika program, wedding ceremony program. As you can see, it looks like cotton color. So we also have a 2 I don't have that with me here. And so on and so forth for old function. Other than the new function, we have Supernet. This is Supernet. This is what we call Supernet. It's a mixture of two materials together. The crantest and the comb materials with shiny. We also have the one that is not with shiny. Yes, it's also super neat. This is it. As you can see, this one is shining and this one there's no shining. It depends on the request of the customer that they want. We have loom. This one is loom, actually loom. You have to join three of these together before you can get gale. But with the new innovation and the new machine that we are using, one of these can make one gale and one ukele. So you don't need to join it together before you get the gele that you want to get. We also have the one that we call Jennifer. This one that we call Jennifer. Yes. We name it after her. Jennifer. As you can see, there's O. There. This O is handcrafted. It is not by machine. We use our hand to make this O on it. This is one of the techniques that we incur into, into what we are doing. So that's the reason why we define the Ashoki as traditional handcrafted teddy that are used throughout Africa. And this product is made with local machine. What we mean by local machine is that all the machines that we use, all the equipment that we use for our production, they are locally made, they are made in Nigeria. There's no importation in all the machines that we use to produce. The materials that we are using, the 70% of materials is from Nigeria here. The 30 remaining materials is from China or Japan. So this what we call Jennifer. There's another one that we do. You have your Ashoki and you ask the tailor to design on it. They can use machine to design. Then the printer can also design make design on it. This one that the printer did for us. So this flower, you can also use machine to make this flower. 
Yes, it's 21. This is 21. With Ashoki materials, you can do the stoning on it. It depends on the request or the want of the customer or the person that wants to use it. So this is 21. This is a bada that they use for wedding. They used to use this one in Yoruba life for wedding. Yes, this is a bada that they used to use for wedding. Although before this time, people believe it is only Yoruba people that wear a bada. But right now, even evil people, they are wearing it. Outside people, they are wearing it. So it is now acceptable all over Nigeria, all over Africa. And as you can see, this is the work of Taylor. This is the work of our Taylor. It's a mission of two colors together. So it depends on the request of the customer or the person that wants to use it. The processing of Ashok is one stage to another. This is the first processing, as you can see. The first processing is stressing of the materials. After we get in the materials, we have to stress it. There is no way you do the production without this stage. This is the first stage of the production. So we call it Ashotita. That means you have to stress these materials down and up, down and up. And this is the stage that will mix our color. This is the stage that will mix our color. As you can see, we have like three to four color here now. So let us assume that we want to mix like three to four colors together. This is the place that will do our mixture before it goes to the weaving size. So as I told you, those people that are doing this, this is what they are doing for living. They don't know how to weave. They don't know how to do any other thing. This is what they are doing. And they are making like 3,000 to 4,000 naira per day. <laughs> as you can see there. This one is now in SS3. You have some that they are, they are finished their SSC, they want to go to university and polytechnic. And this is what they are doing for a living, this is what they are doing to help themselves, to help their parents. So the thing is very, very interesting. The materials that we buy from China. So we call it Krantes materials, China or Japan. So this is how the materials look like. I don't have to hold it very strong. Uh, yes, even you can do it. Oh, just like this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You are going. You are going. You are going. You are going. There's one that doesn't want to follow me. You are going. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cross the beach. Okay, Aloha. And then go back. Yes. The empty carton. After using these Krantes materials, so this is the this is the carton that they used to produce it. So we still have people that they buy this empty carton from us. They buy it, they store it, and selling it back to the company. So this is another business. So we have people that they are doing this. This is what they are doing. They come to us, buy this empty carton. Crab. This is the scrap. Mm. So they buy it in, in large. So they use trailer to pack it from here in Lori like to Lagos that. State. And it will make the environment to yeah. look uh, to clean. Yes. Yeah. Like recycling. Yes. Yes. There's no, there's no waste food here. So <laughs> all our scrap, it also give us money. After that, there's another stage. We call it Asho Siso. That stage is joining of one thread to the other. So that means the one that I just finished with the new one that I want to do, we join it together. This is the second stage of the production. This is the whole one that I just finished. And this is the new one that I want to 
start now. So the simple is the simple method is this. This new one, the gold one, I'll take it out after rolling it. So I will not join this nail with this hood and the weaving will start. Which means those ones that are there, yes. after rolling, mm. is this it? Yes, this is how it will, look, it will look like. This is the old one. So they join it together. This is how they join it. As you can see, this one is white. Yes. This is the nail. And this is the old one. Yes. So the color is different. Yes. So we have to join it together. So they just join it. This is the joining point. So after the joining now, so you now start the weaving of the white one. So this is the old, this is the nail. So this is the joining point of it. After that stage, the processing of weaving will now start. So you're now starting the weaving. We call it Asho. There are lots of weaving machines here with different people weaving different Asho K types and designs. Even young people are not exempted. The Ashoke weaving is also taught to people of the younger generation, like this boy who joins in weaving whenever he comes back from school. Just take a look at how fast he is. I'm soon going to weave my own, yeah, for the first time ever in my whole life. So I'm going to see um, if I can be as fast as this. I'm not sure, but we're going to try something. <laughs> Once the kilo is on your left side, you have to press your left. You, you turn it to the right now. You press your right. Yes, you are with me. Yes, you are with me. This is right. Yes. Yes. Right. Send it back. Right. You have to press left. Left. Use this to pin it. Mm. As simple as that. <laughs> wow. As simple as that. Your right, press the right, yeah. right. This is yeah. okay. Press your right, yes. Send it back to the left. As simple as that. That's the logic. <laughs> this is yes. left. Yes. Okay. This Send it to the right again. Yeah. Send it to the right. Yes. Praise your right leg. That means you are now a river. Ah, this is so nice. Please, how much should you people pay me today? <laughs> Don't worry, just continue moving now. Eh? I believe this is your first time. Man. This is my first wow. time. Wow. Taking it is very hard. Oh, I'm taking my time. How many hours? How many days? How many hours? 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 So after this ashoyeo, you are in another stage. The stage is how to dress it. You have to dress it, make sure the thing is very, very neat. After that stage, another stage is preservation stage. You have to preserve it. The process that we are seeing, we call it preservation process. This process is situation we are by. When we weave the ashoyeo, the materials always come soft, very soft. This is it. People believe Ashoka is very harder. It's not like that. See the texture. The thing is very flexible, very soft. Thing. But because of the gale that uh, women used to put, they want something that was tank like this. So we have a way we preserve it. So this is the preservation process. So after this preservation, we will now spread it on the sun. With, with just 30 minutes, the thing will just come harder. So that's, that is how we make the preservation. Before this time, we use PAP, normal PAP, to do the preservation, stash. But now, we use turbo, and the thing is not armed to human being. It's very safety for human being to use it. So you're mixing with water? Yes. So enough water, enough water. Then after this preservation, you have to make sure you trim it again. Because you must make sure this thing is very neat for the person that wants to use it. So that there will not be any complaint of it. So after that, preservation and other things. So we now put it inside nylon, and it is now ready for the use. That will, that will now make it red, made, assured, okay. 
So let's move to the economic factor of this work. Asha OK is one of the lucrative business. Like myself, I'm talking with you. I'm a graduate. I don't think I need to go for a white collar job because with this job, I can make like 3,000, 4,000 naira per day. Approximately in 30 days. That's almost like 100 to 120,000 naira. Before you can get this type of salary, you have to be in like level 16 or level 15. So I will use this opportunity to appeal to Nigerian youth that anything that they can do to make sure that they provide job for themselves, they must try to engage on it. Like Quora State, we have more than 100,000 youths that are doing this job. And the another economic factor of this job is this, for the Nigerian government. The materials that we are using, 30% of it is from China. The importation of these materials, they have to pay tax before they can bring in these uh, materials to, the, to our country. So government, through this tax, government is getting revenue from the materials that we are using. Another one, most of these things that we are selling, they are exporting to other countries. We have people in UK, US, that are patronizing us. For us to make this thing out of the country, that is exportation. That means people, we have to pay tax to the government for exporting of this product. So that is another thing that government, we are benefiting from this uh, actual code. Let's go to the another factor of this actual code. The factor of providing job for the youth of Nigeria, for the youth of Kwara. I said we are more than 100,000 youth that are doing this job in Kwara State. We pray not to happen. Let us assume that something happened to that industry. So that means another 100,000 of youth will now come in Kwara seeking for white scholar job, which we all know that it is impossible for government to tackle that kind of unemployment. Under our marketing strategies, we have people that they are not producing, or they are the marketers. We have people from Oyo State, people from Oshun State, people from Bene, Lagos State, all over Nigeria that they are doing it. They are marketers. Once something happens to this industry, that means those people that they are marketers, they will not have anything to be selling. That is another factor that we have to consider on this actual production. This madam that you see at my back, she's from Oshobo. She traveled down to Ilori to come and meet one of his, of his customers to collect his food. So that's how we are doing it. Although we have a market segment, we used to travel to OJ Market every 15, 15 days. We used to travel to Oyo, Ibadan, Ede. Lagos State is everyday market. We send goods, we travel down to Lagos. We travel to Bini every end of the month to see our marketers here, to sell for them. We have people in Abuja, almost every part of the Nigeria, that we have people that they are patronizing this Ashok. This processing of Asor Tita that I'm seeing about, we are still have some people that they are doing it. They don't know how to weave, they don't know how to do the production. Their own is to do this stressing. And they make like 2,000 or 3,000 naira per day from it. That's their own specialized area. We have some people that their own is to weave. They are not the producer. They just weave. Like people as you see at my back. They just weave and you pay them every week. So some people, they make like 20 to 30,000 naira per week. It depends on the capacity of the weaver. We have the producer, we have the weaver, we have the marketers. We have some people that their own is to sell materials for us, the materials that we are using. The materials, once the materials is from China or from Lagos, it's with line in Lagos. So we have people that they are selling these materials here in Lauren. At least with the research that we, we just did, their turnover transaction monthly is like 300 million naira. They were doing, yes, those people that are selling materials, 300 million naira per month. So I want to see how this industry is big, how we are making positive contribution to the economic of the country. Let's go to the uses of Ashoka. 
people believe that the ashoke is normally used for wedding ceremony, coronation, shifasi, afia, and other things. The ashoke has beyond that stage now. With the new innovation that we are doing, we are using ashoke now for shoes. You can use ashoke to make any type of shoes that you want to make. This is it. Ashoke is used for anything that you can use leather materials for. Instead of going to Italy, instead of going to China to go and source for the leather, you can use Ashoke to make your shoes. And the thing is very unique. You can't find it in any supermarket. It's like customized products. We have cap. The cap that I, I put on my head is made of Ashoke. This is the, this is the Ashoke that we, we make from Ashoke. We have bags that we are doing from Ashoke. So Ashoke, now it serves as any leather material, anything that you can use materials for. We are using Ashoke for it now. We are using Ashoke for school uniform. This is the sample of the, the school uniform that we are processing. This is the maker. This school uniform you see in my hand, we have introduced this school uniform to the Kuala State Government. We discuss with this, as our Excellency, the Governor of Kuala State, and we believe very soon they are going to do something on it. We want to process NYAC uniform khaki. We are on that now. We believe very soon we will through with it. This is the khaki that we are processing. This is the NYC khaki that we are processing. As you can see, the thing is like khaki. We can get the NYC color, but we don't want to use it. So that's the, that is the reason why we use this color. As you can see, this materials is from this machine, not a Yibo machine. Even before this time, people believe the material of actual is very thin. That is how it used to be before. But the, with the present material that we are using, it depends on the customer request. We can, even we can make it lighter than okay, this. Okay, okay. It's optional. Yes, it depends. The reason why we make this one like khaki is that this one will be it is a short knicker that they will be using. So it's supposed to be a little harder. A little bit. So that's the why we do it like this. So we can do something that's softening that is at least people are using Ashoki for normal wears now. Yes. Yes. If you see most of most of our celebrities, that's what they are using now. We have David Doe and other people that are using it for normal wears. So we can do it softening. It depends on the request of the customer. The what they want is what they produce for them. So this industry is moving day by day. And we are trying to put all our efforts to make sure we maintain and we sustain the industry. The industry has been in the system more than 200 years back. So from that period, we are still on it, we are still maintaining and try to make sure we bring new innovations so that we will meet up with the present situation of the country. There's what we call ICT in Ashoke. Introduction of ICT in Ashoke. Before this time, we must travel to Ibadan or your Oshogo to make sales. But with introduction of ICT in Ashoke, we don't need to travel to anywhere. Just make sure you have your Android phone. Open a shop in your phone, like Facebook, Instagram. Yes. With this ICT, you get you get your customer. Without seeing your customer, you make transaction online. They send sample to you or send sample to them. You agree, make their payment, and you do everything to them. So this is very very easy because some people will be thinking of, oh, am I going to travel down to Ilori to go and make Ashoke or to make request of what? No, you can do that online. So that means this industry is very very important to the Nigerian government to the Kwara State government as a whole. We have some factors that are affecting us. We have external factors, internal factors. Internal factors are those factors that are within our power, within the industry. The external factors are factors that belong our power. 
the external factor, one of it is government policy. But thank God, this present government policy is very valuable to us because the policy of use made in Nigerian products that this present government has initiated is helping us. It made people, more people to patronize what we are doing. Under the external, under the internal factors, we have financial problems. This is the only industry that no government, both federal and state government, they have, they have, they have not been any, any assistance to us. This is the only industry in this country that government of this country have not provided anything for us. Then another thing that we would want to appeal to the government of Nigeria to help this industry. If you go to Lagos State, like Okiare and other places that they are selling Ashore, even the Lays, the Ankara, all other Ashore that they are Ashore that they are, they are selling, they must sell it with this Ashore. Without this Ashore, it is not complete. So that means all Ashore that they are selling, even if you use 200 million to import Ashore from China, from Sweden, you have to buy this Ashore to make your selling complete. So that means this industry must be sustained before this Ashwebi things can be complete. We are, we are appealing to federal government to come to our hills to give us any assistance they can do. Like myself, I have partner with the Bank of Industry. Presently, the Stanley Bank of Nigeria and State Branch, they want to assist us, they want to give us soft loan. But all this loan, you can't compare it with the government loan because the interest is the problem. The bank of industry is 10%, that one is okay. But like this styling bank interest is like 30%. 30, 30 the interest is too wide, it's too big. So if government can come into our help, giving us soft loan, we are a group, we are an association, we know how to coordinate it, to monitor it. We are not, we are not begging them to give us money, to dash us money but they give us soft loan so that we can use to buy the, these materials, we can use this loan to settle our waiver and do other things that we're supposed to do to make sure that we sustain this industry. This is one of those, this is one of things that we discussed with our Excellency, the Governor of Kuala State, Malam Abraham And we believe very soon the action will start on this. We are proposing Ashoki Village in Kuala State, a place that all type of Ashoki that you want to see, you will find it there. It will be like a complex that all the type of Ashoki, bread made Ashoki, will be selling there. And at the back of that complex, we have workshop like this that people will be working there, live and direct. As you can see, this place eh, is one of tourist sites in Kwara State in Nigeria. We have people from Europe, Asia that they used to come to this place for visitation. We have another people that they are not tourists, but they are students from this country. They are looking for excursion. We have students from Lagos, students from Oyo State, all over Nigeria. So that means this industry is very, very important to the Nigerian government, to the Kuala State government, if we can try to sustain and maintain the industry. Presently, we have now joined the SAID program, the Skill Acquisition Program at NYC Camp. What we are doing there is, we are trying to teach our core member on, on how to do the production, then the marketing of it. The production is like six months. After the camp, we have what we call e-camp training, post-camp training. After the camp, they come for full learning on how to produce. Those that they don't want to know how to produce, but they also want to make the sale of it. So we have marketing segment. We see them, how they buy, how they sell, the type of ashoke we have, how they can use ashoke for many things. That means after their NYSC, that one year service, they don't need to be going out looking for job. Before finish their NYC, they will know how to buy and how to sell a shopping. We have we have we have it in different side. Like this loom that I said earlier, this big one. We have people, the one that is free like this, 
you have people that they can make like three to four ekbele and then a day. That means they can make like eight of these a day. This one with four, you can make like four of this one a day. This small one that we are doing, we have some people that they are, they are doing three bundles of this per day. The thing is very, very easy. So you can do like three bundles. And we have eight pieces in one bundle. So they can do like three bundles. Some people will do like two bundles. Some will do like three bundles. Even we have some people that they are doing like four bundles. Yes, it depends on the capacity of the waiver. Presently, we are working with Kwara State University, Kwasu. We are working with the Department of uh, Community Development. And what we are doing is that we want to try to make sure that we bring new innovation, new ideas into this actual industry. So we want to partner with them to know how we can go into more research so that we have something that is convertible, reasonable, and even wearable more than what we are doing presently. We believe by the time we come out with all this research we are doing, this industry will be moving more than this. And we'll be able to compare with all other materials from China and other countries in the world. I believe with all this appeal, the government of Nigeria and Kuala State government will look into industry one day. This is a rolling engine or rolling machine used to roll thread that will still be used in the Ashoke weaving process. This is the machine called Ofi used for weaving the Ashoke. It has certain components which include the Asa, Omu, Oko, Okeke, Agborin and Iteshe. This is the place we are doing our dye. So we call it Aroshishi. We dye to different colors like black, blue and any, any other color that we want to dye our materials into. So that's the reason why they call us Ile Alaru. That means the house that are doing dyeing, Ile Alaru. So you've seen how Ashoke is being produced, all the materials used in producing it, how 70% of the equipment used is sourced locally and 30% internationally. It's really an awesome business if you ask me. A lot of people wear Ashoke, you might have worn Ashoke before and it's really beautiful that we've gotten to see how this thing is produced and it's done right here in Nigeria. No foreign machines are being used, no sewing machines at all and it's just shredded. I mean I did it so it's so, so exciting that I got to weave Ashoke today i know you saw that part so thank you so much for watching please if you haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up leave a comment let me know what you think about this video did you know how a showcase is being produced before if you didn't know let me know in the comments until next time i'll see you in my next video over and out <laughs> i'm done <laughs>